there's a whole world waiting for you folks okay um, but it starts by flowing down into yourself it just you flow into yourself I've always said flow within so that you can flow without and by flowing in I mean just float inside yourself flow inside your body into your core energy you go through the mind and come in and relax and it's like you're floating in your core energy but actually you just it, it's mostly staying in the head and right here in the chest and then all of a sudden poof you just come out and you come you can come in and out through the crown the pineal all over the place okay so as you flow within the flow without when you flow inside your body and relax you literally inside your body inside your brain you have literally entered the second dimension okay you're there and that's how we do this okay but the body has to be calm relaxed just flowing nice and easy so as you take another deep breath and you're feeling your body just relax then all of a sudden your mind finally just calms down don't engage in conscious thought do not try not to think just see your mind and just go like this put it in neutral let it free run whatever your mind wants to do you, your conscious mind let it do it as long as you're not engaged in it you can't be oh my god I gotta do this I gotta pick up the kids in an hour you know I gotta do this I gotta make this happen I gotta make this happen. you have to get rid of that you have to be calm you have to have quiet time in order to feel understand yourself You can't find yourself on the internet, folks. You have to go to the source. What's the source? You. You have to go inside your body. Relax. Just float inside your head. Flow within. I think I've been saying that a few years. You want to be yourself? You go to yourself. You are the source of you. Kind of makes sense. I look at everything in a simple way for a good reason. It should be simple. Mathematical equations and everything else, they're difficult when you're learning them, but after a while they're simple. Um, know yourself, be yourself. You learn math, um, one basic mathematical function at a time. Starts with simple arithmetic and subtraction, and it goes into logarithms and you can go into physics blah 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 so uh, that's where it comes from as you keep awakening and getting stronger you're gonna develop these abilities and folks it's already in you your ability to see this stuff feel it to understand it to separate it to see it individually that's part of you it's a natural part of you just relax, go inside yourself, let it go, let yourself out. Um, this body's dying, it's obvious to many people, but m to no one else more than myself and my doctors. Um, I'm very well aware of what's happening in my body, but I'm also aware of what's going on out of my body. Folks, I have moments I can't hardly walk and I can't I don't even want to go out anymore because when I do I'm so it's like being a deadbeat I mean I'm just there you know um, it's nice to see folks but it, it's um, you know it, it's when you really can't enjoy it you know it's just every once in a while I just need to get away for a second um, but as tired and sick as I am um, I'm stronger than I've ever been. It's hard for me to be consciously active, but it's easy for me to do the energy work. And while I'm doing a consult, my energy cranks right up. So I keep going, but I'm not like a puppet, but I'm being cranked up so I can do the job. Um, kind of helps me enjoy the consults. Um, but I'm aware that being outside of the body, I'm a lot stronger than when I'm in the body.
because the body slow us down. So as you relax and open up, flow within to flow out. Been saying that for years. That that is how you power up. You can power up your body and move energy through your body. That's powering up. But you have to relax in order to let yourself loose. So you can build up a lot of energy inside your body, folks. But, you know, the real power is flowing right outside of your body. It's building up the, inf the affirmations within your mind to move the energy through your body. Remember, everyone's got a huge filter on the top of their crown, and that's where the rest of your energy, it, it emanates through your skin and everything, comes out of your body everywhere, but the, real, the big part of you is coming out of your crown. That goes through that filter, so the big part of you outside of your body does not get any of those emotions and start going nuts, otherwise it'd really be crazy. Um, then the heart puts out a magnetic field from it that goes out everywhere, right from the heart, just comes out. Your body's more intricate than you think. So, anyway, folks. Um, don't let the fact that that's confusing hinder you from moving forward with it. Okay? Um, the stronger you are, the better your life is, the easier your life is, and the more we can help others. Those of you that listen to me, almost all of you, are anxious to help others. As a matter of fact, someone said, Jay, who'd you get certified by? And I'm like, you know, this is a long time ago. And I said, what? They said, yeah, you know, you supposedly this and this and that. Who certified you? And I said, the people that got the first certified, the people that are certifying people, where'd they get theirs? If you follow it all the way back, someone just did it. Well, what do I tell people to do? What's my school? My school is a school of you. It's the university of you, okay? The best teachers you could ever find are in your head. That's why I ask you to go inside yourself. Flow within, flow within so that you can flow without, you know, meaning out without your body, flow out of your body to flow without, okay? Just, you learn how to become yourself inside, uh, uh, um, touch to yourself, you know, just attach to yourself, touch yourself, feel, feel yourself, and then you can start releasing yourself outwards. And then see, the thing is, you wanna take your conscious mind with you as you go. Question, so let's say, you know, there's a lot of healers in my audience yeah. that do an incredible amount of work for humanity, are so gifted and so intent to help. Mm -hmm. In each one of them, or myself, while we're doing whatever that gift happens to be, whether it's hands-on healing, for me it's alchemy, um, yeah. when I'm in that state, I mean, I feel like I'm way, like in a much higher dimensional realm. Is that true, yeah. or can that not be the case because we're in physical bodies? Actually, that, that you're not actually mm -hmm. in another realm. What it is, is you're within yourself. Ah, uh, and that is very freeing. It's like, uh, I don't like to use the word meditation, but when you finally get yourself, the whole time you're saying this, I'm watching you do it, and then I'm seeing what's going on. Um, when you relax and get to a certain frequency, you know, you calm your mind down, and then you open up, you flow. It's like I tell everyone, flow within, so you can flow without. Right. Just go. Right. And then you can literally flow around without the body, because that's the real you anyway. Um, so uh, everyone does it at night when they actually project to get free. Uh, so okay. we fall asleep at night. Yeah. We go into a dream state. Are we changing dimensions? Are we, are we actually finally out of body and out of the uh, anchoring of the physical? And at that point, can we go into all the other different dimensions or not? No, but there's a twist to it. Okay. It's okay. like not really, but this is what it is. Um, when you're put in a body, um, you're attached to that body. You cannot leave it, okay? Um, 
uh, like I was saying before, a male and a female uh, get together and they created uh, they uh, uh, fertilized an embryo in the woman. Uh, both the male and the female have two energies: the en their visiting energy, which is a, a little more higher percentage than the actual energy of the planet that Gaia gives of herself, so that you can have the body now uh, um, have a life in the body. Now, uh, the embryo only has the energy from the planet. So when the source mother, whoever it is, will literally take a wall of a source energy when it's time, go up to that uh, uh, embryo and push the Earth's energy to the left side of the brain, leave that barrier there, then put in the visiting spirit, soul, whatever, into the right side of the brain, coat everything over, coat the brain, then coat the body, and then it starts. you start flowing. That's how you go and get in there. Now, you will put in that body. You have to stay in that body. You come out of that body, it's game over, okay? Uh, the body's just going to die. That's just how things are set up. There's very few exceptions. I like this cup. Um, get back to the first dimension in a minute. It says, leave the, cr it says, leave the crowd. Look within. And then let your dream soar. But that's like taking off out of your body. So it's like, leave, leave the crowd, just relax, go inside yourself, settle down, find some quiet spot, and then flow within yourself. And then come on out of yourself and just look at everything going around. <laughs> I tried so hard to get people to do that in my last life. So anyway, uh, be positive, okay? Think positive about things as, as they come. And even when something rough happens, it's not the end of the world. But take your philosophies for Pete's sake and just set them aside for long enough to listen to some of the things that I have to say, to go inside yourself and find out who you really are, and to flow within yourself so that you can release yourself as energy to flow everywhere because all creation is out there. The field of energy that's everywhere is everywhere and you can flow within it. It's made there for you to travel. So uh, please learn how to meditate, to go inside yourself and relax. Uh, please take the time to look at some of my information that's coming up on the internet and listen to it. And if you don't like it, fine, turn it off. You, you, you haven't lost that much time, but I'll tell you enough to where you'll understand there's a reason to pursue more of what I know. And then when you get to that point, eventually you'll understand why things are happening uh, the way they are here and why there's a reason to have hope, why, why change is imminent and why it's positive. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on uh, things changing for the better because they will. The main problem in life has been what's been running them, and that's gone and can't ever come back again. So from here on it goes up, but sometimes going up a hill is a little bit rough. <laughs>